Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about technology trends in the solar industry. And our guest today is Victoria Devesa. Victoria is leading product management team in EMEA region. Hello, Victoria. What are the current technological trends in the solar industry? The pace of innovation is clearly increasing. Old module manufacturers are increasing the efficiency of their modules. Large wafer sizes are becoming the standard and bifacial modules are the mainstream product for utility scale projects. We also see that the application such as agro PV and floating PV are gaining terrain into the utility market. There is a lot of discussions right now, what is the next technology to come? N-type, top corn, entering junction. But we still do not see a clear trend. Why do you think that bifacial modules are so popular today? The main reason is that bifacial plants have LCOE values that are lower or even much lower than those of monofacials. Most of the utility scale projects are won in tenders based on the cost of the electricity, making bifacial plants the most effective solution. Additionally, bifacial modules are glass glass frame modules, making them sturdy and durable with even improved warranties. Could you tell us more about N-type cells? We see PERC on N-type, TopCon and Interjunction as the main emerging technologies. All are interesting. But the truth is that the cost must go down before they really become an alternative in the mass market. If that happens, the adoption rate is going to be very quick in the industry and it's going to be very exciting. What are the main drivers of the development of larger cells? It is the race to reduce the installation costs. We have seen how using bigger modules we can reduce them. And the natural way to reach this is using bigger cells as they increase the active area of the module. Since 2018, we have been using M6 in our production for our bestseller Hike module. Now, recently, we have launched our serious space on the 210 mm wafer and we, together with our customers, are seeing a clear reduction of the LCOE. In recent years, the interest in floating solar solutions for electricity generation has increased enormously. What kind of challenges do you see ahead? Floating PV is very interesting because it opens up areas that otherwise they will not be suitable for PV installation. It is clear that the cost of such system is higher compared to the traditional ground-mounted ones and there are still some open questions regarding the durability of the components. Finding a good system design and acceptable logistic cost are the key factors for such projects. From a technical perspective, the main points to consider are safety and cleaning. There are some well-engineered projects that have been working for a while and show an excellent performance. Thank you, Victoria. And thanks everyone for watching. If you want to watch more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.